class takes place about 30 years in the future. Earth has been transformed by alien machines. Their ships are gone, a lot of our technology has been destroyed, and there is a kind of new frontier. Welcome to Defiance. Is this St. Louis? Now we call it Defiance. The first thing you notice when we get our first view of Defiance is it's this strange alien landscape. It's a town not like anything you've ever seen before. It's a really eye-popping, jaw-dropping environment. It's a hybrid between alien culture and human culture. I think our audience will be very surprised by the look of Defiance. The key to the show visually is the juxtaposition of the utterly strange and bizarre and different with the familiar and earthbound. What would the survivors trying to build this new world try to make this world into. Even though there's been a devastating war, that environment is very rich. It's filled with life. The colors that we chose are brighter, blues, some spice colors to define the hope that is in this town. We actually have a back lot the size of a football field, and we're going to build key parts of the actual town with functional sets that have interiors and exteriors. When you actually come here and start seeing what they're doing, I've worked on films that aren't as ambitious as this. What we're attempting has never been done before, and that, for me as a designer, is extremely exciting. In any successful science fiction show, you need to create an environment that transports the audience. One of the unique elements is that we're introducing a lot of alien flora and fauna. Integrating that into a human environment in a way that's meaningful for the audience is one of my greatest challenges. You all know what to do. What you see at the end of the day should be cohesive and, and believable and real. If this event really happened, and we were making the show 35 years in the future, when we just pointed a bunch of cameras at the drama that was unfolding, this is the idea of how the show is gonna feel.